Hello guys, today we will talk about events and listeners in Laravel and I will show you a few interesting syntax options. And this will be a start of a mini series related to the same open source project, which is this one, Eddy Server Management by Proton Media, which is actually run by Pascal Barrier, the author of Splayed. So the demo application of Eddy Server Management, a real application was released to showcase Splayed. But this video series will not be about Splate, it will be about Laravel various tricks, but I will link in the description below some resources about Splate if you want to read about that, about SPA, how the author Pascal uses that in edit server management. But while browsing through the code of Eddy management, I've noticed various different small pieces which are worth showcasing as interesting kind of tricks in Laravel. So one of those is today, and I'm not sure how many videos will there be. I'm planning about seven or eight, maybe more. We'll see. The code base is pretty big and interesting. So as a backstory, I want to show you an example from Laravel Breeze. And this is how I typically see events and listeners being used in Laravel. So in the controller, something happens like in store or update method, and then you need to inform the system, anyone on the system that something happens. So you launch the event, trigger the event, and then whoever is listening for that event, the classes of listeners, then they do their job. So this is a typical use case, manually launching the event in the controller. But what I've seen in Eddy management, look at this example. For example, for managing database, there's a store method in database controller, which just saves the database. So validation, dispatching some jobs, messages, return, save database user, but there's no event. Although there is a folder of app events, including database updated, for example, or database deleted. But even if we go to database destroy, for example, which is delete, there is no event here. So how does it happen? So did you know that you can define your events in the model, in the eloquent model, if they are related to the model itself? So this is the file that I actually wanted to showcase to you. Class database extends model, eloquent model, and then we have this. Two things. First, you can define dispatches events based on the events of the model. So for example, updated, then you fire the event class. And then separately, you can define the event in the booted method of your model like this static deleted, then you can define a callback function. And both of those are actually the same as eloquent observers just defined as events and listeners. It's a personal preference how to structure the application with events or with observers. But if you do choose events and listeners, you can define model based events like this. And then whoever is listening to database deleted, whatever listener would be fired. In this case, the listeners are actually powered by Splate. So there's a component X Splate event with listening to database deleted and database updated. So this is a topic for those who want to dive into Splate. So there is a documentation about X Splate event if you want to read about that. But I don't want to dive into Splate. This is a separate topic. I want to talk about specifically Laravel events and listeners architecture. And the last thing I want to mention here is this. So my question was, and I even asked that on Twitter, Pascal, I DM'd him asking, why are you doing booted for another event instead of doing the same thing here, deleted database, deleted class? Why is it separate in the booted? And he explained to me, which I didn't even think about, that if you need to have a relationship used like database server team ID after deleted, sorry, the GitHub keeps opening that one after the database is deleted, relationship object would not be accessible. So to perform some operation with relationship database server, Pascal implemented this kind of a workaround on deleted. In this case, we do have that relationship still present and fire event with that relationship field as a parameter specifically. Both cases are interesting. So that's what I wanted to showcase you in kind of one video about events and listeners. And I have more information and videos about events and listeners in general. I have a special tag label for events and listeners on Laravel daily com. And I will link that one in the description below as well. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.